Okay, welcome back. It is 616 exactly now, and uh, we're opening the day to uh, some daylight. Uh, officially, that sunrise still about to 25 minutes away, but uh, we're going to have some sunshine here this morning into the afternoon. There's going to be high-level cirrus types of clouds drifting across the sky, so perhaps filtering some of that sunshine at times. Overall today, I think a few more clouds than we had yesterday. Did not have many at all there on Wednesday as we got to 86 degrees. Calling for 86 yet again this afternoon. So very warm, but not humid. So as Mike Avery was saying when he was tossing to me at the top of the show, you know, it just doesn't feel that hot because we don't have much humidity and uh, we won't either today and then tomorrow and Saturday slowly picking up a little bit of humidity, but nothing like what we had last weekend when heat indices were jacked up into the middle 90s, not anticipating that. And then eventually a cold front does come on through a Sunday morning. It looks like at this point with a few showers, not the greatest timing of day to bring thunderstorms through, but to can't rule out there would be a rumble of thunder or strike of lightning, but certainly not anticipating severe as of right now, looking a bit cooler early next week behind that cold front and those associated scattered showers. We're going to drop back into the seventies early next week. Let's go over to Lake Michigan though. Water temperatures have dramatically increased over the past seven to 10 days or so. 70 degrees water temp uh, last the last observation there measurement on Wednesday in Muskegon 70 degrees Grand Haven and as warm as nearing 80 degrees in South Haven. How about that? These winds very light out of the east this morning will turn to the north at 5 to 10, maybe 15 knots this afternoon. So there could be a short stretch there where there's uh, waves a uh, foot, foot and a half, maybe two feet. But generally, overall today, we're talking about zero to one foot is going to be the rule from north to south along the lakeshore within our viewing area. Temperatures running near 60 degrees here right now and winds are very, very light. So yet another morning we're starting with virtually no air motion and dew points in the upper 50s. So we are in the upper echelon of that comfortable category and that's where that red line will be pretty much all of today. We'll jump into the humid zone for Friday and Saturday and then start to straddle that uh, muggy zone for a period late Saturday and early Sunday. That'll be right out ahead of this cold front when you do tend to get your warmest air and most humid air drawn northward. But then as that cold front goes through Sunday morning, we're going to drop back the dew points by the afternoon and start to clear out this atmosphere and lead into a decent stretch early next week. 86 degrees, we'll call it by day's end. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny, but uh, not these fair weather cumulus puffy clouds today. We didn't have them yesterday. I don't think we will today either. It's these high level cirrus wispy types of clouds that will be uh, there'll be enough of them out there to filter sunshine today at various intervals and this European model doing a pretty good job of detecting those. But again, it's going to be very bright here on Thursday. Overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, mostly clear to partly cloudy. And again tomorrow, a weather system passing well to our south. The northern extent of that could throw a few clouds in here Friday into Saturday. We'll call it partly cloudy. I don't think uh, really much in the threat of any precipitation until we go overnight Saturday into Sunday morning. That aforementioned cold front comes through, a band of showers. Maybe a thunder shower, but again, the timing of day, not the greatest to produce thunderstorms. If it happens to slow down and come through in the afternoon, well, then we may have to deal with a few more thunderstorms. So we'll watch it and see how it plays out. As of right now, it comes through, though, decent timing during the morning. And then the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a little bit cooler. It'll be breezy as we draw down some cooler air, partly sunny skies Monday into Tuesday. And could there be a sprinkle on Monday? Possible. No big rain events. 75 looking good, though, by Tuesday. Well, back to school this year.